that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Ugh. I'm here to get my bike scan over at uh, 35 Cycle. They've invited me to come over. They are right behind there. Uh, I brought my Look 795. The Look has gone through several crashes. They have some kind of cool thermal imaging technology that is able to scan their scan our frames and what you can't see from the outside. We have a few frames in there. We're gonna see how it works. There's even a report that's generated. So let's go. Okay, here at uh, 35 Cycle, my bike is already inside the shop. We're going to meet with the founders, Gary and Jerome. And they're going to show us how this thermal imaging system works. And they're going to show us some bikes that probably have cracked or not cracked. I don't know. We're going to use that system to find out. So let's go. Okay, Jerome, my bike Hi. is up. Maybe you want to tell us how does your this fancy machine works and how you're going to work this thing out. Sure. Okay. Uh, in simple, we are using thermal technology. Of course, uh, thermal technology is something uh, for the past few years, a lot of us have experience on going, going malls, going at airport where you, during the COVID period, they test for temperature, mm. you know, yes, correct. Mm. So it's, it's similar, it's similar technology, but of course it is, there are more technology to it like when we, when we need to apply on something that is carbon fiber material. We have our equipment here, very high tech equipment. We have an excitation source. How does a cold bike generate heat? So I need to excite the source, which is the bike. We are able to bring out, bring, bring heat into the bicycle, and then we are able to cap capture heat flow. So how long does this whole process take? If you bring in a clean bike, clean bike means there's no place of concern of crash, crash or crack. You just want to do a proper check whether there are any, any internal, internal repair or, or not, probably one hour, one hour, okay. yes. But if if they are okay, like something like like your bike, you you have pyro crash and then you have pin it up. You are concerned whether there are any internal crack to the carbon fiber or not. I may need more time to in, in investigate certain points. Okay, so now we're gonna scan the bike. Unfortunately, I cannot show you guys the process of how this is gonna happen. Uh, it's it's top secret. I'm gonna show you what happens after the the process of uh, scanning the bike and we'll see what the results look like. My bike has already been up here where we're going to take the, uh, the thermal scan. But before I, we do that, I want to show some of the repairs that I've done onto the bike. So the last time I went to for a race, Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. I did a patch here. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. It's already been patched up, but I don't know whether internally there's any damages, but we'll find out soon. Uh, oh no, this all, all happened on the non-dry side when I fell. Uh, also over here, uh, there's a few places where I've already patched it up with paint and uh, somewhere down on the, the chainstay, on the chainstay on the non-dry side. From this image, I can I can see that there are different different coating of paint. From the preliminary check, there is no crack concern. Yeah. Mm. In order to confirm whether crack or not, I have to zoom in. So right. your customers who come in, they will yes. get some kind of a report that you will analyze and generate some. Yes. Pool. Later, I will show you our detail. How how our detail report. The chain stay, the thermal image of your chain stay, of course we can show that there are this this part, there are different layer of paint. Uh, but very good news is there's no 
crack because uh, if for a crack to happen, we are able to see from our thermal camera that heat will seep through the crack and we are able to project the video of how the heat get into the crack line. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. my so, bike is 100% good. So your bike on the seat stay is 100% good. So this is a factor Austro that belongs to one customer. Uh, Jerome, this one is perfectly normal from the outside, right? Now Correct. That we it, has been, it. it has been beautifully repaired and paint. Okay. Yes. But actually there's an issue with this bike. Correct. Are you able to identify? <laughs> okay, let's, let's have a look. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It looks nice. I mean, of course, I don't know whether camera can pick up, but from uh, what I'm seeing right now, everything looks like a new bike. You won't be able to tell whether there's any cracks or not. But this bike has been resprayed and fixed. But later through the scan, I think Jerome will be able to see, right? All yes, the, correct. the defects. Yeah. We, can, we can look through the computer later. Okay, yes. and then we'll see. So this is one perfect example where uh, from the outside, you cannot see what's going on but uh, with the thermal scan you'll be able to see some of the damages and repairs that has been done Correct. so now Jerome you run us through what's the results right looking at this video there are a lot of story background that I can pick out from yeah okay I have no idea what we're looking at actually <laughs> <laughs> okay if we look at this particular image Focusing on the chain stay, we are able to, I'm able to pinpoint the irregularity of the chain chain stay at this portion. See? Yeah. Right. This is the part that actually has been has been carbon, carbon patch and repaired. And and a fresh coat of paint being sprayed over it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, let me go back here and look back at the chain stay and let, whether we can see anything or not. Can't see anything. So this is a, would you say it's a very uh, nice job, a very well done paint job that you can't see anything. Even better than my frame, because my frame was a very cheap paint job, lah. But Correct. this one is uh, immaculate. But see what you can can't see anything here. Um, but on the scan, yeah, I have a nicer image here. Okay, come and take a look. See here, yeah. Mm. This is this is exactly the part that has been has been uh, carefully repaired by a carbon fiber specialist in Singapore. But yes. this doesn't say whether there's actually a crack, right? It's just showing that there's Correct, been, uh, because it has been, it has been repaired. Yeah. And how they actually repaired is they will, they will file away the crack portion and relay carbon fiber sheet onto the intended crack portion. No? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so with with this actually there's no no cracks la, basically. I can only with our technology I can only say that this bike has been repaired before. Okay. Yes. Only repaired. Correct. But so uh, after all the repairs, any other issues or any other cracks on uh, this there's, bike? There's or? no other issue beside this, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that is what um the thermal imaging scan can show, I guess, if you want to know whether the frame has been repatched or not, that you cannot see from the exterior. Also, it can detect any kind of cracks, but uh, fortunately, this bike has no cracks and it's just only repatched, re just like my bike. Uh, there's some paint chips, but we don't know whether there's a crack. So, Jerome, you said that you already did a scan on this one, right? Correct, correct. So, you have the images you want to show? Yes, can. Okay, come, let's go and check out the... Okay, so this is what it looks like. Yeah, this is... Uh... This is at the rear of the bike, seat tube down to the two seat stay, hmm. the y, jun y junction. Okay, from, from the outcome of the scan, I can confidently say that they are, they are cracked. The, the crack on the, on the paint surface that we can see, mm -hmm. actually, it went beyond, it go beyond the carbon fiber material. Yeah. Mm. So the hotline, this is the hotline that I, I print screen and actually it was shown to the customer. So this is yes. the line here that has correct, an correct, issue. Correct, correct, correct. So the I'm able to I'm able to deduce from the video heat bin heat bin transmit into the carbon fiber crack line. Okay. Yes. So this is to confirm using the te technology that crack is present. So it has been a couple of days and a certified cycle has given me the 
uh, what they call a bicycle diagnosis report. So this is a PDF document that summarizes the scans and the issues. So uh, I believe this document is probably very useful for you if you want to if you would like to sell your bike. At least you can give your buyer the assurance that there is no issue with your bike. Um, and it probably might increase your chances of selling your bike. Uh, I mean, it could also be just used as a personal document for you just to uh, refer to it if you might need to use it in the future. So uh, feel free to take a pause and uh, read the, the report if you'd like. My name is Gary. I am the co-founder of Certified Cycle. Both me and Jerome, we are engineering from mechanical engineering background. The whole idea of this business started off when I was trying to shop for a used bike. I was uh, looking around in Carousel to find a used bike that suits me. And I met up with the seller. The bike itself is very nice. The, the paint was like flawless. Concern whether it has cracked before repaired and uh, respray. At that time when I bought that bike, I have no other technology that is available in the market. All I know is uh, ultrasound, tapping, pressing it, in full inspection of the bike. That was what I know of. I bought the bike without uh, a proper inspection. Every time when I cycle it, I still have that 5-10% of wondering what's the history of the bike. And that's prompted us to use our engineering knowledge to develop a scientific approach and engineering approach to uh, really find out the whole history of the bike. Hi. My name is Gary. I am the co-founder of Certified Cycle. Both me and Jerome, we are engineering from mechanical engineering background. The whole idea of this business started off when I was trying to shop for a used bike. I was uh, looking around in Carousel to find a used bike that suits me. And I met up with the seller. The bike itself is very nice. The, the paint was like flawless. Concern whether it has cracked before repaired and uh, respray. At that time when I bought that bike, I have no other technology that is available in the market. All I know is uh, ultrasound, tapping, pressing it, in full inspection of the bike. That was what I know of. I bought the bike without uh, a proper inspection. Every time when I cycle it, I still have that 5-10% of wondering what's the history of the bike. And that's prompted us to use our engineering knowledge to develop a scientific approach and engineering approach to uh, really find out the whole history of the bike. Fred in Singapore and he will pay me. So I get him to I, join I me. A company correct, him. correct. So I think I believe one of the condo in East Coast. I bring my bike up. Eventually the 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 lady friend, seller lady friend, asked me to just leave the bike on the side. And he pay now me seven thousand dollars. So actually from this whole process I was thinking, wow. Uh, if it is me, I will not do that because, well, you, the seven thousand dollars is pretty a lot, and are there going to be issue on my bike or not? But somehow, this probably I believe the the real scenario of the or the current practice now is we have no choice. Or people also buy; they can only visual see, and probably at, at most they send to bike shop. Bike shop, okay, bike bike shop. Experienced mechanic probably. We we're able to do some check and 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 check whether is it is it is the scratches cracked or not, yeah, or is it repaired? Has it been carbon fiber repaired or not? Probably this no one can see unless you have a bionic eye, which yeah. of course our our technology yeah. able to to show everything. Yes. So from this from these two experiences trigger us to find out more using technology to check for our carbon fiber bicycle frame and of course uh, wheel wheel set as well. That is the end of today's video. I'd like to thank Certify Cycle, Gary and Jerome for inviting me here and also for scanning my bike. Um, so I think with those of you who probably want to sell your bike, you need some kind of assurance to give your potential buyers. I think this kind of report, you know, gives your buyer the, the confidence of buying the bike. If you're unsure whether your bike has got a crack, uh, whether it was repaired before, this is, I think, one of the ways you could get it verified. Um, I, I don't think you could find something like this elsewhere. Anyway, there's a promotional period. Uh, those of you who wants to take on this service, until 31st May 2025, the price is 109 Singapore dollars. Uh, the details will be mentioned in the YouTube description if you would like to check them out. Uh, they're also on Instagram, message them, and uh, feel free to ask any questions you would like. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.